Hi, I'm Sarah from Made on the Common and I'm here to walk you through using your Etsy Payments dashboard. Now the dashboard is designed to take your Etsy Payments data um, downloaded from Etsy and put it into a format that makes a lot more sense to you as an Etsy seller. I think the format that Etsy provides the information in is a bit confusing and I've seen lots of questions on how to use it so I thought this would be a useful template to help fellow Etsy sellers. There are three parts to this video. Um, part one will talk you through how to set up your folders so that you can save your information. Um, it will also talk, show you exactly how to download from Etsy both your payments information and your deposits information. Part two will then talk you through setting up and using your template for the first time. And then part three will walk you through how to use it each month and what the various reports will show you. So let's get started. Hi, so part one, how to set up your folders and your files so that we can use the template. The first thing we need to do is go to File Explorer and decide where you want to use, um, where you want to save your template. So open up File Explorer. I'm going to save mine in a new folder called Etsy Information, which I'm going to put under my Documents file. So go to Documents, New Folder. Etsy information. You can call this folder whatever you want to call it, either Etsy information, Etsy monthly downloads, um, put in the name of your shop, anything you like, it doesn't matter. The next thing we want to do is to save our dashboard folder into there. So mine I downloaded into um, downloads, you might have saved it somewhere else, it doesn't matter. Find it, copy, Go to the folder we've just made, Etsy information, and paste it into there. So you've now got your dashboard folder in the file that you in. You've now got your dashboard file in the folder that you've just created. The next thing we need to do is to create two new folders to hold your downloaded information. So go up to new folder again, and we're going to call this one monthly payments downloads. Now this one has to be called exactly this thing because that's where the, fo the file will go to to look for your downloads. So you need to call this one exactly the same thing and it needs to be inside the folder that you've just created. We then need a second folder called monthly, monthly deposits downloads. And this one is going to hold um, a download every month of the amount of money that Etsy has paid into your bank account. And the reason we want the two folders is so that we can reconcile how much you've earned and how much you've been paid so you can check your current balance on Etsy. So that's it. We've now got the folders set up in exactly how we need to do it. The next thing we can do is go onto Etsy and download your information. OK, so we've gone into Etsy now and we're in the shop manager. So you bring up your shop manager here and to get to your payment account, we want to go to finances and then payment account. And that will bring up the latest information where you are. Now, to get your download, you need to go under here all the way down, go under your graphs. And you'll see here it says see all monthly statements. So if we open up that, it will show you all of the months that you've got available to be downloaded. It doesn't matter whether you've already downloaded it, it will show all the months you've got. You can see that it only starts from October 2018 and that's why um, the template will only work from that date. Anything before that, the payment account was done in a different way. Um, your sales income and your fees that you had to pay were kept completely separately. So it was much harder to pull that information together. So the template will work from everything from October 18 onwards. So pick whatever month you want to start. You might have already downloaded some information, which is fine. We can just move it into the folder or you can download it from scratch now. So let's start with October 2018. Click on the month you want and then again under the graphs you'll see over here there are two little buttons. The button we want is a CSV file. That means comma separated variable. Don't worry about it. It's just a form that it downloads the information in. Click on CSV. 
and it will ask you what you want to do with the file. Um, don't just click save because that will just save it either into your downloads folder or to wherever you last downloaded anything to. So it could go to a completely random place on your computer. Instead, go to save as. So click the little arrow, save as. And now what we want to do is go and find the folder that we made earlier. Oops, so mine was under documents. There we see Etsy information. Double click on that. And these want to go into your payments downloads folder. Double click that one to open it up. You see it already automatically dates the file. So that's 2018 10 for October. So we don't need to change the name. Just click save. Finish downloading. That one's now in there. And you can keep doing that for all the months you want to download. Oop, go back down. Up here, you just change the date. So now if I want to do November, again, it brings up the CSV. You'd click that. You can see 2018, 11 now, save as, and just keep going for all the months that you want to download. Cancel that for now. The other information that we want to download is the deposits information. Now, for some reason that only Etsy understands, it hides this one away. You need to click on settings, then go to options. And over here, you'll see a thing called download data. So click on that one. And it gives you a few options for what you can download. Um, you can get a list of your current active items or your sales orders. We'll be using these in another template that I'm putting together at the moment on your sales information. So look out for that one coming in the Etsy shop very soon, if not already there. Um, the one we want is the deposits. So this is everything that S Etsy, I can't even say the word, Etsy has saved into your bank account. So the CSV type we want is Etsy payment deposits. We want to do this one, let's do it again for October 2018. Click download. Again, you need to do save as. Now this time, it's automatically saved where we were last time. Go back up to Etsy listings. This one wants to go into deposits downloads. Save. Now to make it quicker, you can actually do the whole year. If you leave that on month and just do 2018, it will download um, the whole of 2018. It doesn't matter that it brings in information prior to October. We won't be using it in the file, but that's fine. If you want to do this one though, if you want to do the whole year, so if you want to do 2019 and then you want to do it again at the end of next month, you need to make sure that you replace the file, the previous file. So don't save two copies of a file that's got the same information in. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you downloaded June 2019, mid-month, and then you download it at the end of the month, don't have two June, folder, June files in the folder, or so it will duplicate your information. You need to make sure that you only have one file for each month, if that makes sense. Anyway, carry on downloading. And now we've got the information downloaded, we've got the folder set up, we can go on to part two, which is how to actually set up and use your template for the first time. See you on the other side.